All right, welcome to the decks of the author of the Africa for Smart Kids book series. My name is Beatrice Achaleke. Let me ask you a question. How much do you really know about Africa? How much do we really know about Africa? Kids, adults, women, men, how much do we really know? This continent is full of fascinating facts that not many people know. And if you ask me this question, I, I, like some few years back, how much I knew about Africa, I wouldn't have had any answers for you. But today, having done my research and written seven books of the Africa for Smart Kids book series, I am richer in wisdom, and I'm here to share some fascinating facts with you. You ready? Let's go. Fact number one. Did you know that the most sophisticated car in the automobile industry is made in Africa? You don't believe me? Grab my book for Made in Africa and check out the Libyan rocket. The Libyan rocket, I'll show you how it looks like. Let's go, Libyan rocket, where are you? Libyan rocket, there, there we go. That is the Libyan rocket, the most sophisticated car you'll find on the planet. Now, fact number two. You ready? Let's talk gender equality. Did you know that long before Europe had their Margaret Thatcher and Angela Merkel and the likes of them, Africa already had its first female head of state as far back as 1975. Yes, between 1975 and 1976, the Central African Republic had Africa's first female head of state. Her name was Elizabeth Domitian. Go find out. You'll find her. <laughs> you ready for number three? <laughs> Here comes your number three. Did you know that 50% of all the gold that got mined in the world comes from Africa? Yes, it comes alone from South Africa. This town in South Africa. I leave you to go find out the name of that town. It starts with W, top secret. Okay, you ready for number four surprise? Number four fact about Africa. Did you know that Africa is extremely rich in natural and mineral resources? I'll take you to my book two. Book two of Africa for Smart Kids, Where is Africa? And on page 22, you'll find that 99% of the world's chrome resources 85% of the world's platinum, 70% of the world's tantalite, and 68% of the world's cobalt comes from Africa. Wait, you'll find them out. <laughs> so let's go for your number five. Well, this one must be simple. Did you know that Africa is the second largest continent in the world? The first is Asia, and Africa is the second largest. And coupled to that is your number. Six, Africa has the youngest population in the world. It is said that 50% of Africa's population is below 20, so around 19. Whereby in some parts of the world, we know that about 30% of the population of that part of the world is approaching 65. So tell me where the future is happening. <laughs> I love this. Now, let's talk about number seven. Number seven should be as easy as uh, number six, meaning the longest river in the world. Did you know that the longest river in the world is found in Africa? It's called the River Nile, and it uh, flows through over like some seven African countries. That is the longest river in the world. Number eight, this may really, really surprise you. It did surprise me too. Did you know that the origin of numerology, arithmetic, and mathematics is in Africa? Some people would say Pentagoras in Greece, but no. The, 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 the older signs of early numerology was found on the Ishango bone. The Ishango people lived um, around the democratic, today's Democratic Republic of Congo. And this bone, the Ishango bone, is found today, not in Congo, not in anywhere in Africa, 
but in the Museum of King Leopold. Mm -hmm. King Leopold in Belgium. Does that ring a bell in your head? So numerology originated from Africa. Don't be fooled. <laughs> so let me take it to number nine. Number nine. Did you know that the largest uh, basilica in the world, it is said that the largest basilica in the world is the Basilica Notre Dame de la Paix, Our Lady of Peace Basilica. It is found in Yamoussoukro, which is the capital of Ivory Coast. And there's something very special about that basilica. It has 7,000 seats inside the basilica. Within the basilica, 7,000 people can have a seat. And the thing that is so special about those seats is that each one of them has its own air conditioner. Did you hear that before? And outside of the basilica, uh, the standing space takes up to 11,000 people. So 7,000 plus 11,000, that is the capacity of the Basilica uh, Notre Dame de la Paix uh, found in Ivory Coast. So let's move quickly to um, number 10. Number 10, the oldest university in the world. Do you know where it is situated? <laughs> <laughs> people say African people are illiterate and all the kinds of things. Did you know that the oldest university in the world is found in Africa? Yes, it is found in Morocco. It's called the University of Kaurini. It was built in uh, 859 AD. Compared to the oldest university in Europe, which is the University of Bologna, that one was built in 1088 AD. Do you see the difference? So the oldest university in the world is the University of Karin. It is in Morocco. It's still existing and it is functional. Okay, fact number 11. Did you know that the Vilakazi Street in Soweto, in Soweto is so unique in the world? So unique in the sense that it, has, it houses two Nobel Prize winner living next door to each other side by side on the same small street. That makes Vilakazi Street one of the most, a unique, a unique street in the whole world. There's nothing like that in other countries. And you know that Africa has 16 Nobel Prize winners and that 10 of them are in South Africa, where the two that live next door to each other, you can already imagine when it comes to Soweto, it's Desmond Tutu, Archbishop Desmond Tutu, and um, Nelson Mandela, who would have been 100 years old this year. So let's go quickly to your number 12. Um, I spoke to, uh, mentioned the basilica already. Next to the basilica, we have a mosque in Senegal. It's called the Mosque of Tuba, the, the, the Great Mosque of Tuba. It is one of the largest mosques in Africa could be in the world, I still have to find out, but it's one of the largest in Africa. And it's a very beautiful mosque, very old, but so beautiful. It's the place where Muslims go to worship. And some people even call it the maker of Africa. So those were 12 facts about Africa. You may have known some of them. Some you may not have, you may not have known. So if you got something to learn there, I'm very happy. You watch out for my next video and I'll give you my next top 12 facts and figures about Africa that will surprise you. Facts that you will not find in any school book and that you will not find in any university and that probably no one will be telling you except you read Africa for Smart Kids and listen to some of my videos. I'll see you in the next video. My name is Beatrice Achaleke. If you like this video and you want to see more, you know what you need to do. Just click on the subscribe button and uh, click on the bell if you don't want to miss another video when I post it. I thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Please share with people around you so we unveil, unlock, and we unleash our African heritage. I'm proudly African, unapologetically. I'll see you in the next video.